Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be taking a look at the VeChain chart and the current price for VeChain stands at the 0.03 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 5.06% and we are seeing a very nice recovery to the upper side on the VeChain chart and I want to start by giving a brief of what has, be, has been happening on this chart and I'll be basing my analysis on the Elliott waves and the Fibonacci's and also show you a pattern that is information at the moment on the VeChain chart so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around till the end of this video so VeChain from the all-time high has been seeing no prices in this massive ABC correction and the ABC correction has taken us to around the 0.02 dollar mark and from there we started seeing a bit of a recovery in the market and I believe VeChain has done whatever it needed to do in its ABC correction and soon we might see a nice breakout to the upper side in, an, in this idiot wave pattern having a wave 5 taking us back to an all-time high and the minimum that I'd expect the wave 1 to do once we see that breakout to the upper side is at uh, between the 0.17 dollar mark and the 0.14 dollar mark and that I'm basing it on the Fibonacci's so if I apply the Fibs here so that you can see how I came up with that target area you can see this area is between the Fib level 0.6 and the 0.5 Fib levels so that's the minimum that I'd expect the wave one to do once we have a breakout to the upper side. And at the moment you can see that in this massive ABC correction, you know that our wave C has is our wave C consists of five other fractal waves. That is our wave one, wave two, our wave three, our wave four, and then our wave five to complete the a, the C wave. And right now I believe that we are in that C in our wave five of that C wave and maybe we have seen the low or maybe the low is not in that I cannot be able to tell at the moment uh, until we have a confirmation on that and there's, there's this pattern that is information at the moment on this chart we have a wedge you can see there's this wedge that is over here and if, if I go to the one hour chart so that you can see it better can see we have this nice wedge that is over here and at the moment we, are, we have a, a one hour candlestick that is very strong to the upper side and we are almost touching the upper side of this wedge and once that happens and maybe we manage to break to the upper side of this wedge and maybe have a retest of that area on the that area of resistance on the upper side of that wedge it's possible for us to have an impulsive wave to the upper side and the minimum that I'd expect that wave to do we can try and measure it by uh, getting the height of this wedge and take the height of the wedge and place it over here near the area where the, break, the breakout might occur and that takes us to around the 0.04 dollar mark so if we manage to break to the upper side and have a successful retest to the upper side I expect VeChain to take us to around the 0.04 dollar mark and in case we break to the lower side because it's still a possibility we can go to around the 0.02 dollar mark and if we find support at around the 0.024 dollar mark then we can then have a bounce to the upper side so there we have two scenarios we can either drop to this key area of support down here and maybe have another nice move to the upper side or we can just lose that support and maybe go to the to the lower side and that would be the worst case scenario for VeChain because I don't see much of support to the lower side below the 0.02 dollar mark so that's the update for VeChain and continue observing those key areas of support and resistances and let's wait and see whether we are going to manage to break to the upper side of that wedge and if we look at the indicators that I have on the chart 
on the for on the one hour chart we have the RSI on the RSI we are in the overbought region and that would mean we cannot support that breakout to the upper side on the RSI on the MACD we have a bullish cross and that would mean that move to the upper side is supported if I go to the four hour chart on the four hour chart we also have a bullish cross on the MACD and on the RSI we have room for us to continue pushing to the upper side so that move of breaking out of that wedge is still valid so let's give it time and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated